Marfa River that's separating Estonia and Russia. Yes, indeed. We are at one of the outermost point of Estonia and the European Union. Narva is the easternmost city in Estonia. Due to its history and its proximity to Russia, the Russian language is the primary here, while Estonian is second. Let's see what we can explore in this unique city. We are now in Narva. This is one of the outermost city in Estonia that bordered directly with Russia. So we are now in Estonia and right across the river is Russia. This is the bridge that leads to Russia. It's really quiet today, probably it's because of the coronavirus restrictions. The main site in Narva is none other than this imposing castle by the river. Let's check it out. So, this is the Narva Hermann Castle. It was originally built by the Danes a long time ago. But then, during the Second World War, it was heavily destroyed. And currently, it's still being restored. And actually, together with the Ivan Gorod Fortress across the river in Russia, these two castles make up uh, one of the most unique fortification complex in Northern Europe. Hey, I just bought a ticket to the Narva Museum, cost 12 euros. And I also got this phone for the audio guide. You can learn more about the history of Narva in this castle turned museum. In 1944, during the Second World War, the old town of Narva was completely destroyed by Soviet air raid. Here you can see how the old town used to look like and how the typical house was. And of course, the two castles. Besides seeing the exhibition, you can also go to the castle tower. From there, you can get a great view over the city. And also over the Ivan Gorod castle across the river. And of course, being so close to Russia, it's only normal that there is a statue of Lenin here. This is the Lord's Resurrection Cathedral, an Orthodox church in Narva. It was built in the late 19th century, and amazingly, it was left untouched during the bombing in 1944 in the Second World War. Today, you can enter this church for free and admire the architectural beauty. A visit to Narva is not complete without walking through its lovely riverside promenade. You can get a great view of the two castles from the promenade. And you'll probably notice that the river is actually a popular spot for fishing. So that was our day trip in Narva. Actually, there are not so many things to do in this border city apart from visiting the castle, visiting some of the churches, enjoying the cafes, and also walking along the riverside promenade and enjoy the beautiful view of Mother Russia. Well, don't forget to always follow our journey to keep watching our video and don't forget to subscribe! <laughs>